to our channel. So today is gonna be a perfume video. Yeah. Everyone likes our perfume videos. Yeah. That's why it's actually one of our best videos that I do yeah. well. And funny enough, that's not even our niche, you know. Yeah, but we do love perfume. Like we I have like to say, just, much, just as much as perfume. Yeah, just as much as well, I love. Smell good and look good at yeah. the same time. Like I said, um, like I said in one of our other videos, make sure you don't spray just perfume. Make sure you shower mm -hmm. and you spray um, deodorant mm -hmm. and roll on, and then use perfume. Mm -hmm. Just a disclaimer. Absolutely perfect. And also another disclaimer: please subscribe and like and comment below and all of that. Yep, yeah, we are a review channel, so if you like our reviews and the makeup demos. And also fragrance reviews that you know we are adding just reviews Dead in general. In general, yeah. then please do subscribe. Yeah, but so, yeah. So what's the perfume we're doing today? So today there's a range in um, Superdrug called Artisant Atelier. Yes, yeah, that's what it's called. Artisan. 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 Yeah, Atelier. That's what it's called. Okay. Um, nice white packaging, simple packaging. I picked up three. They are nine ninety nine each with four fifty ml. Where'd you get them? At uh, Superdrug. Superdrug. And I feel, I think they are, um, what do you call it, exclusive. They're basically a super drug brand, I think, yeah. So, oh, is yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't say super drug on it. No, no, no. Okay. So they are, from, you know, a super drug brand. Um, the cruelty free. And what else does it say? Anything else? Yep, super drug. Look here, look, super drug, super drug stores. Oh, and it's a super for vegetarians and vegans. Mm, that's there you good. go, just in case you're going to eat it, you know. And it's the. Uh, I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> just in case uh, someone wants to eat it. I think the best thing about it is it's cruelty free. It's cruelty free, yeah. Let's go with the first one, which is Spring Fleur. And okay, so wait, take it up. Can yeah. you show the bottle? I will read it out because there's some things at the back. So of it. let's just show the bottle first because obviously, and then get into it. Yeah, it's actually nice white packaging. Nice white bottle. It's clean, clear. It's clean. Right? And it's actually, it doesn't look. Because 9 99 it's quite nice in yeah, it. 50 mil. Nice. Really so nice. this one is called Korean Cushion. Is that right? <laughs> No, but what is this? Perfumer. Korean? Oh, Korean Cushion. Cushion. I don't, I don't, all of them say, say that. Yeah. So the what perfume's name, maybe the perfumer is by uh, someone called Korean Cushion, maybe? Okay. And this one has black currant, peony, rose, sandalwood, and musk. Nice. So that's the key notes that's the key to this one. It. So this is actually something that we haven't even tried. So we actually, this is like so a this blind is the first test. first time um, testing type of... Room. Actually, no, 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 no. I, 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 I have tried this one. I think these two haven't. Okay, well, I haven't tried it. Yeah, so this so one I have tried. Easy. And I actually tried it this morning because we actually received them. Mm. And I would say it, it lasted around six hours. Are these females, yeah? Yeah, Women, three, one. yeah. And do yeah. they have a male one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and I bought another three, four. Oh, yeah, it's men's as well. I wanted to try it. All right, but well, let's, let's I was this. saying, so I have tried this for like around six hours and I still have a little bit of smell on my hand left. It does smell nice, so you know, you can okay. still smell it, yeah? So let's go for it. Do you want me to? Yeah, go on. Ooh, that's a bit strong though, isn't it? What do you think? When it I first think, hits? I think it first hits, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's wait then. But it is nice. I can, do you know what I can smell? I can, it's very, very like. I can't smell the blackcurrant that much. Can you? A little bit. I can smell more of like the sandalwood and the musk type of side yeah, to it, yeah, yeah. rather than the blackcurrant mm. and rose side. To be honest, for the name of it called Spring Fleur, I would have thought it would be lighter, but it's actually yeah, more. Yeah, Spring Fleur, isn't it? And it's not very floral, and I like it for that because I was worried that I wouldn't like it because I don't like floral perfumes. The perfume is fine. I don't think the name goes with it. Because mm. Spring, you would think a bit more light. A bit more coming towards summer. And the fact summer. that they first spring before summer. Yes, it is. Yeah, so you think it's coming towards summer? It's a bit more summery. But the thing is, look, look at the dry down. Smell it now. I think it's it's, it's um, coming through. But the, I can smell black right now. Yes, I can smell black right now. That's so cool. Mm. That's nice, actually. But the thing is, yeah, because the first um, note, keynotes, is black currant peony. Yeah. Then rose sandalwood musk, but initially when you when you spray it, it's like the sandalwood musk comes out yeah. first. So that's when it hit my nose, mm. and yeah, yeah. So that's now that. it's I can smell the black currant. Now yeah. it's calmed down, mm. and now it's giving me a bit more spring, 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 uh, spring vibes. But no, that's nice. Right? Yes, yeah. That's actually that's really nice. You know, that's good. It's like, and it's and the black currant's not too sweet as well. Yeah. Okay, rate it out of ten. I would say probably like a seven. I would say around a six. Six. Would you buy it again? It depends on how much it lasts, because I actually like, because I like musk perfume, remember I told you that? Yeah, I'm more of like the sweet mm. type of... Yeah. And it's probably not sweet enough for you. No, I don't think so. But it's nice. I mean, I would I, definitely buy it again. You probably okay, wouldn't. I wouldn't. 
when the black currant came in, I can't lie to you, I liked it more, mm. but it's not a thing that If I'm you like musky ones, because the opening is very musky, yeah. um, which I love, yeah, and I actually love the fact that it's not, um, what's the word, it's not too sweet, I'm glad it's because okay. Fleur, and I was thinking, oh, I'm probably not going to like this one, but Fair this enough. one on the actual um, website did say that it, um, what do you call it? What? What did I always get in my head? I just lost my train of thought. Just lost. Oh yes, that it is light and fresh. People do say that at the review, they said it's very light and fresh. Oh, so all the bottles. Yeah. Because look, it is, as, as, as it dries down, it's going lighter. No, it is. Mm. That's what I'm saying. It's more of this springy vibe coming yeah. along. So all this right, one's so called this is Vanilla one. Blush. Vani oh, Vanilla Blush. I was going to say Vanilla. <laughs> That's that one. So this one also has black currant, jasmine, vanilla, cedarwood, and musk. Mm. So like the other one, it has musk and black currant as well, but it has jasmine. So I'm expecting it to be a bit more lighter because mm. it has vanilla and jasmine. So you want to spray this one? I think we're gonna. Um, we actually. I usually spray them in the air, but the reason why is because I'm. I'm not like they're not gonna be as strong as like Tom Ford perfumes. So. I mean, spray in the air because we did it on the arm this time. So go on. See if you can smell it. I like this one. Do you? Yeah, I like this one. We'll put spray on this arm. Okay, let's not shoot my nose and put it up my nose straight away. I like this one a bit more. Oh, this one's got this keynote's a black currant as well. Yeah, this is black currant as well. No, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, black currant, jasmine, vanilla, cedarwood, musk. This is more floral so far. That's what I'm saying. I knew it. I could smell it straight away when you um, shot it. That's a long. Actually, this is a more stronger than the other one. Don't you think? I the opening of that is stronger and then it goes really light, isn't it? This one. Well, I think, I think the must come through more on that one. Otherwise. This one. The, the must comes through more on this one. In, initially, when you spray it, you feel like it's very, very strong. Yeah. And then it suddenly goes to a very light yeah. fragrance, I feel like. I think good. this will get lighter though, man. The blush. If, you just, if you just wait a bit, it will get lighter. What can you smell in this one? I can smell more of the, the jasmine vanilla side mm. rather than Definitely. the blackcurrant and musk side. You can really smell the the vanilla and the jasmine. Yeah. Um, but then does it say vanilla? Yeah, jasmine. Okay. Yeah. Less musky. Less really musky. More, more floral. This is definitely my type of perfume. perfume. Yeah. I would give this like a 7.5. Oh, okay. You? Six. Okay, so we're the thing is, yeah, The thing is, I would say it's a nice one because it's... Not too sickly full of fruit. Flour. It's not too much. See, I like sweet, but I don't like too much sweet. Don't like mm. it for it to be like it's candy on me. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Oh, they're all 50 ml, by the yeah. way. So, but yeah. so that's that. So that's that one. And then let's do the last one that we got. Which is, I like that pack. What did you get? Packaging, actually. Yeah, like, that's like, pink. That's nice. got green. So, what's this one? Take this one out. is called Exotic Musk. And there we go. So that's that's what it looks like. Musk. It's got the purple accent to it. Um, All right, so clean. this one is similar to the other one. It has jasmine, sandalwood, and musk, but it has spicy vanilla. Mm. So not normal vanilla, which is probably why it's. Called but then the first one, the first notes so are jasmine, then spicy vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. Okay, so it should be a bit more floral. I, I think. think I think it would be a bit floral, but a bit more because um, it says spicy mm. vanilla. So I don't think it would be light. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Do the air first, and then we can spray. Hmm. Why was that? Suspicious. <laughs> Suspicious. Because <laughs> it's not really nice. Suspicious that they're putting yeah. real, real perfumes in here. Yeah. Designer perfumes in here. Suspicious. <laughs> Super drug. Pour some Tom Ford in your bottles. Did you? I'll buy again, and this is like I would say nine out of ten because mm. it smells it more expensive. Nine out of 10. This that's what I said. Tom Ford, <laughs> <laughs> chicken, 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 chicken. <laughs> no, but this one actually smells really expensive. Like it smells like something like like you said, Tom Ford, or something yeah. like Dylan, like something expensive. Yeah, honestly, I actually am very surprised with that one. What can you smell the opening of this though? It's weird though because I'm getting a lot of musk. I'm getting a mix of musk and musk and jasmine and a bit of sandalwood, but the musk is not shooting, hitting up my nose, mm. so it's not too heavy. To be honest, can I say something? I just have to say this, but this is probably like ten times better than the um, musk perfume by Huda Beauty. 
Seriously, who you don't see us, man. Who does? Don't. <laughs> I love who does. I should have. Oh yeah, I love her lipsticks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her perfume, but I can't lie to you. I haven't tried because I've, there's a one. There's another one that's that like vanilla perfume, which smells at least okay. Because I'm not a very vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Perfume. No, honestly, this is good. This is I this is nicer than the um, like not even nice because that one I I need to do a review on it, but I was so you know pleasantly surprised by it because what the Huda Beauty one? Yeah, because it's eighty two pounds. Oh, and stuff you can't smell anything. Not, and it's called mask. Oh, that one's called mask as well. Yeah. I really. Oh, like look! This. It says super drug stores at the bottom. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Mm -hmm. Super vegetarian and vegan, like I said, you guys can eat it if you want. Um, <laughs> you can drink it. But okay, so in this, my favorite one. Yours? Yeah, absolutely. Out of all of them, Definitely. favorite. So if I was to, like I said, it was like eight point five nine. Mine would be this, then this, and then the spring flower. Yours as well? Or I would say, one? yeah, I mean, for me, these are two, these two are tied, I would say. Even though this is, like, not a, a scent that I would go for, the vanilla blush, I still like it because it's not, nothing's overpowering. Yeah. It's still a nice smell. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. If I was to buy it again, I wouldn't buy these two, I'd buy this one. Yeah. Because yeah. this is good. This but is nice, like, You can find other alternatives. Yeah, I would look so. for other ones. But, I mean, if I was to buy two of the three, I'd probably buy these two because I wanted to see how this one actually wears more mm. because it actually well which one did you say you smelled before this one. Oh, okay okay but I want to see how this actually dries down do you see what I mean yeah that's the most important thing now to see how long it lasts mm. what's that other word that you said um when people can smell it from you there's a certain Siage. word Siage. is that what it's called yeah when people can smell it how far it can go yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah that so it depends on that mm. obviously I don't think any of these perfumes are gonna have strong sillages because I think um if they're like more like Fragrant, like not not fragrance mist, but they're probably like lighter perfumes. I think. Yeah, I don't think it's like that that strong. Yeah, yeah, I think it's more of like you know what's those mist thingies that you just go. Shh, no, I think it's stronger like than that because you know saying that you know the Versace that we talk about, Bright Crystal, that yeah, one, yeah, EDT, yeah, yeah. that one does the one that we did a review on once. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's strong. That one's strong. Yeah. Even though it's like a fresh fragrance, it's strong. So we'll see. I mean, we need to test it more. We will leave we'll it in the description it. below. We just we'll haven't put it up here according on the screen because of lockdown. We haven't been out anywhere, yeah. so no one smell us. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I think we just need to use it a bit more. I mean, these are kind of more first expression, first yeah impressions, expressions, first impressions of the actual perfumes. So um, you know, initial smells and stuff like that. We wanted to do, um, let you know about. But in terms of, I mean, this one I sprayed in the morning and it lasted about five to six hours. Yeah. So it's good for nine ninety nine. I actually. Oh, them, before you came. Okay, yeah. You sprayed yeah, that one. This only this one because I wanted to just test it. So before we do the video. But guess what, guys? Ten nine nine ninety nine for fifty mil. But they go on offer very often to four ninety nine. Superdrug always has them. Often, so they four ninety nine sometimes. Oh, so how much you buy for? Yeah. Five pound for one for each. Yeah, they had it like two days ago. So fifteen pounds for three. Yeah. That's good. See. That's good. So, you want a quick. Cheaper alternative of a perfume. I mean, come on, you know how nice this was for this to be even like something for five pounds that you can just pour over yourself. Yeah, yeah, for real. It's no, good, isn't true. it? Yeah. This was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if you would compare these to a, a higher brand, I think they are actually dupes. Of what? Oh. So guys, yeah, we were just obviously. I wanted to make sure because we did realize that these were actual um, like dupes, dupes of, of like high-end perfumes, perfumes as well. Yeah. So, so off camera, we had a quick look, mm. and just to let you guys know, I'm either psychic or just. Because that's when we did sp um, spray this one here, which was called Exotic Musk. And what did I say? Yeah. What did she say? She said, it's, oh, is it like Tom Ford that's been poured Suspicious. into the bottle? She said that. So then whilst, why? because well, I did mention to her that these are dupes. So then we just obviously went off So when camera. we had a look, look at this. Can they see my phone? They can, but just go close up to them. Okay. So look at this, guys. So this one, which is that one. And then when you scroll down, that is the dupe. Which Santa is Blush. Tom Ford, which is what I said. So that makes it actually more, you know, there's more honesty in that because you didn't, yeah. you didn't even know. I didn't even know that. Mm. I swear I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Because um, we I was just telling her that these are actual dupes and now we realise that this is the dupe for Santal Blush. Yeah. Um, I haven't actually tried that, so that must be really beautiful. So it must be good. Yeah. This is that <laughs> this good. This is that good. Yeah, and good. this actually smells that close. Um, the funny enough, this one here, Vanille Blush, now that I say it, now that I smell it again, it is a dupe for, what does it say? Dupe for was, Dior Forever? Dior Forever. Dior Forever, and this one. Was yeah, this one is, is a dupe for Jewel Forever, which I think is quite similar. Um, I just feel like, um, I don't know, I would say probably an 80% similar dupe, okay. yeah? Um, the one, this one here is, which I can't remember the smell of, which is Chloe. Yeah, I don't remember the smell of Chloe, yeah. but... So I'm not, I'm not going to be able to comment on but that. I'm but I'm not going to lie to you, like I said, I didn't really, I wasn't the biggest fan of that, so I probably won't be a big fan of, of the Chloe, Chloe one, yeah. So. I mean, for myself, I like the dry down more than the... I mean, I like the initial opening more than the dry down, because the dry down goes to more black currant. 
Whereas I love. Oh, see, I'm the opposite. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. the musk and sandalwood in it initially. Like, I wish it stayed like that. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's it, guys. I am actually super impressed with these. No, what I'm do you happy. think? I'm happy they're good. Yeah, they look nice. nice yeah, I think it'll be fresh, nice little thing. Cute, I feel like I want to get a few more actually. You should. I know, and then we can even try the men's ones because obviously there's like a Dior, Gorge, I think. Uh, no, we should do the men's ones then. Mm, yeah. Because we know what men's perfume I like yeah, anyway. So. Yeah. So I think I do want to pick up more. There's a few more as well. Do you know? Grab your phone. There's what? There's a few more that I wanted to pick up that I actually didn't. That dupes page. Um, okay, so, so there's actually one more that I wanted to have a look at, which was called Chanel for Chanel Chance. It was called Lily and Moore, and that's the that was a for Chanel Chance. Okay, Lily and Moore's for Chanel Chance. Oh, Chanel Chance, nice. Yeah, yeah okay. and there was another one which was called Patchouli Patchouli Passion, which was a dupe for um, Lancome's La Vie, and that's really really popular. Okay, Lanc yeah, La Vie S Belle. So I do want to pick if up those two. If we knew it was going to be this good, we should have bought more in it. I mean, no, I did. I picked up five or six. Oh, okay. And when you check out, it, just, it said that they're not available. Oh, okay. Because I thought five pounds... Was it like, online? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I thought 25 pounds for five perfumes is not going to break my bank. So I thought, let me just buy them. No, that's cheap, man. Mm, like, so I thought to my... Because we don't even buy even one perfume for 25 sometimes. Yeah. It's not possible. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So I, I thought to myself... How we have spent on perfume? Exactly. So five pound perfume, I can do... I can buy... We buy body mists for that price, you know? Like, yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. So that's I thought true. to myself, I can do that. Um, and obviously, I wanted Chance because that was a perfume that I, I, yeah. I loved. And also La Vie. I, I mean, that La Vie, you'd probably love, isn't it? Because it's a lot more sweet. Probably would. Lancome, yeah. Have you not smelt La Vie? Uh, Long time I don't ago. remember, yeah. yeah. You would love that one. So, I mean, we will pick And I want to try that Chanel one as well that you just said. Yeah, Did Chanel, what chance? Chanel. What else is there? Um, there's men's as well, which is called Mascador, and that's a um, dupe for Pacaraban 1 million. There's Seda Blank Bright Artisan, which is a dupe for the Invictus. Is oh, it Invictus? I think I've seen that one before. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they're all dupes, but you know how some dupes are really rubbish? Yeah. These are actually decent. They even have a Chanel blue one, for men's. So we could pick that one up because I, my, I am, you know, I, I, I like to smother it myself. Yeah, <laughs> I've worked in Chanel before, and those perfumes. Oh, like water is crazy. Yeah. It's called Vetiva Arum is a dupe for the Chanel blue. So guys, that's it, guys. I mean, you know what? Dupe, there's loads of dupe perfumes out there, but these ones for four. I mean, they're originally ten pounds, but when they're on offer for five nine, four ninety nine, are amazing. Highly recommend these ones. And for, even if they're lasting for five hours, from what they, I've obviously seen till now, I still think that I highly recommend them, and I think that you know, um, they're do. great for the price as well. And we're just kind of blown away by this exotic. I love this one. Love it as well. Love it. Um, so now I can't wait to. I'm just so them. smart. I said suspicious. Yeah, Roll back and I said suspicious. Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, she did. And she's like, mmm, suspicious. It smells, it smells it like was too good. Tom Ford. Yeah, I said Tom Ford. I didn't. Even, I could have said anything. Mm. I could have said. I Chanel. feel like I even want to go back and get another one of these. That's how good it is. Yeah, nice, good. How nice it smells. Yeah, it's nice. nice. <clears throat> but really nice. that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you Let enjoyed. us give us lots of thumbs. You know, likes and likes for this video, so we can go back and get more perfumes get some and more. you know, and try some more. Um, and please subscribe, comment down below maybe other dupes that you've seen, other perfumes that you've seen that you want us to review. I, and we will be reviewing that Huda Beauty, so stay tuned for that because that and one don't forget, review. And don't forget, shower, deodorant and then perfume. <laughs> Until next time, <laughs> bye! bye. bye.